Hi everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plants and I am back with some more daily sheets to prep and get decorated and ready to go for another week of things to do. I am using my printables. I do have them linked down in the description below. We are continuing on with using some older Happy Planner books, although we are starting to get into newer books because we are in the 400s. But today I have Colorful Animal, Cozy Critters, Cyanotype. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not. Um, Deep Botanicals, and then A Central Home, which is probably going to be the hardest one because it's not a decorative book. So we'll kind of see um, how the this goes but let's go ahead and get started first thing I like to do is look and see what can I make work in a horizontal because I do have a couple of horizontal I feel like I could if I really needed to make that one work um so yeah I just like to look and see which ones have more stuff that I could probably make work in a horizontal and I feel like this one I feel like those two I can make work in a horizontal so the other ones we'll use for verticals so let's go ahead and figure this out. I'm feeling the blue vibe, so let's start with this book first. Again, I'm not going to say it again because I know I'm not saying it right. I'm like, can they pick names that I don't have trouble pronouncing? <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know, but this book is so pretty. I so wish, like, they did this and this one, and then there's the Sage book, and I'm like, can I just get, like, um, a mauve like we do have a book that has some mauve purples but like give me that give me like like maybe do one that's called like royalty and have it all purples um like that would literally be my dream <laughs> that's like my dream book from the happy planet right now is like one of these books just like the sage just like this one but like in like shades of purple like just uh, like that's what I need like let's go <laughs> um anyway so let's go ahead I think I'm gonna use these. So it's going to be a very blue spread, which I am for. So let's do it. I have these giant quotes, which are perfect because I don't think there's like there's decoration, but there's not a ton of decoration. Like I'm not going to go buck wild with what's in here as far as like what they're considering decoration for this particular book. So, um, I'm just going to use the little decorations that I have, but there, I know there's not a ton in this book, so I'm not going to get my hopes <laughs> too far up. And I am going to go ahead and lay some of the little decorations that I see in here. Um, when you love what you have, you have everything you need. That's a good one. I don't know. There might be. Oh, there's not. Okay. I was like, I don't know if there's like washi stickers in here, but we'll use this one because it's like the same size and it's just like the quote version of it. And again, we have lots of, this book has a ton of quote things in it, which totally fine, just not what I'm needing right now. So I'm not super worried about that. I'm going to use one of these monthly stickers and I'm just going to rotate it and then I can use... Um, there's like circle stickers or even like these flags to kind of cover up um, or even one of these to kind of cover up that little spot there. Looks like I have some blank boxes, which is good because I need those for functional stuff. So let's just use two of those and then we can layer some other boxes inside there. Trying to see what sizes there are. Yeah, see, so we can literally just take one of these and then just go boop. <laughs> um, I know there's more. Okay, there's those, but those are dark, and I want like the light color if there are any. Which there aren't really any. Okay, there's these. So I'm going to save that page. I did see some other ones but this one doesn't have a lot of boxes in it I mean it does but not in like the other shades which is what I'm wanting so that's kind of a bummer but I will make it work always make it work so again I just like the layered look so I'm going in with a little bit of layering and also gonna go in with these slightly bigger boxes I just love the look of layering. 
<laughs> I'm like, no, do I need to do that? No, but I really like to layer. And why not? Makes it look a little bit more fun. Okay, we have like these random, like see it has decorations, but then they're also like, not weird decorations, but when they're just like the individual little florals, I sometimes I have a hard time using those. So it's like it has decoration, it has these things, but it really doesn't have that much to it. Like that's it. I guess we'll use like this giant leaf. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to use there. So we'll stick this leaf in there. And call that good. I don't think there were any like functional words in here either. There are some, but they're circles. Which doesn't work for what I need them for, so that's okay. Okay, I think that's it for that book. I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to pronounce it right. So, first page, Blue Vibes, digging it. I'm going to set that one aside. And then we're going to go into our horizontals, which we're going to be doing two um, horizontal pages. So, let's see here. Um, oh, these are the books. Okay, so Colorful Animal and Deep Botanicals. I feel like both of these are going to be fun to play with. They both have... Uh, I love this book. I've 100% been hoarding this one. Sometimes I don't remember until I flip through a book and then I'm like, oh, that's why I haven't used it. It's because it's cute. That's why. Oh my gosh, and it has hollow. Yep, this is why. I'm hoarding these ones. Like, sorry, I'm not going to use them on a daily um, so we're just going to pass by those ones because I love them too much, too much to give them up to a daily sheet. <laughs> they need a full spread. Um, okay. But we do have lots of leopard print. We have the colors. Let's do this. I think we're going to have to get a little bit fancy here because I don't have a lot of blank, um, like full boxes. I have them, but there's just not a lot of blank ones, and I'd much rather have blank ones. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take up some of the space, and then I'm just going to layer boxes inside of them instead. So we have these colorful boxes that I can then just kind of go in and make my own thing happen here. And to layer a couple boxes in there. In some of the colors. Okay, yes. Ugh, I forgot how much I loved this book. <laughs> it's just so pretty. I don't have a lot of smaller boxes, so I'm just going to use this one in place of doing like a square. I mean, I could have cut it down to a square, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be that deep. I do want to just change these so that way they kind of match more of what we're using. Yeah, I did have these, but eh. <laughs> Lots of boxes. We could put more leopard print. Let's do some of the colored print. We can do some of these colors elsewhere. Let's put a little bit. I'm actually going to cut this one and then I can use that piece somewhere else. Over here. There we go. Uh, and then even just like these handwritten stickers. So fun. 
as long as I don't rip them while I'm trying to pull them up. Because <laughs> that would not surprise me if I did. Okay, so far this is my favorite. I'm just loving the colors and all the things in this one. Keep moving forward. Good reminder. Ah, so fun. This is such a cute book and it's why I've been hoarding it because it's one of my favorites. It does have squares, but I'm glad that I put that there because then I have like a full box quote, which is still really fun. Okay, I think that's all I need in this one for right now. So that's Colorful Animal. Moving on to our next one, we're flipping that over and we're going to go in with Deep Botanicals. So, okay, we have a washi strip sticker noted. This one does have a lot of blackout stickers in it. So just something I have to keep in mind and be open to because blackout stickers are definitely harder for me to use. I don't know why. I think like my brain just doesn't work that way when I see like a black offset on something and then like the white paper under like it just is kind of hard for my brain i'm like i'd much rather use black paper um but we're gonna try this and see <laughs> if i can get over it i don't know why like it just i don't know i don't know why why am i like this um i apparently used all these boxes so i don't have any of those to play with so that's okay we have at least one that's better than none but maybe we're going with like this more leaf vibe. But apparently I did use all of those other ones. So that's cool. I was thinking though, there is, there are these. Is, there are, they are. Um, these are like the tombstone shape, but I think I'm just going to cut it. So that way it's just a full box, if that makes sense. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I don't have any more of the other one. So I'm just trying to make note of where that line is. And then I'm just going to go in with my X-Acto knife and trim it off. And then I'm going to put this back and we'll just leave it there for now. Okay, so there are some like regular stickers. And by regular I mean like not on blackout. Like, not blacked out, I guess, but I was just trying to cover up my wonky line there because there is <laughs> a very wonky, not straight line. Um, but then we can go, whoa, as I drop it, on top of these with some other little boxes or shapes. So I can actually write on those. I think I'm going to use shapes on the other one. Why not? Are there bigger shapes though? Because that's a little... I can write small if I need to, but... <laughs> that's small. Okay, we're writing small. Well, maybe I just do a, like more than... Maybe I do like three. And that gives me space. Space to write a couple different tasks. Um... And we can just decorate as we can. Uh, these, I do need a blank one, which is fine. I just need to find a little sticker to cover that up. I'm kind of like, do I just go with the blackout? Like, do I just use all these other blackout stickers? Like, if I'm going to use them, should I just, like, use them? For the whole thing. See, like this look, I don't know. Blackout stickers are literally just so hit and miss for me. Like, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I 
I don't know. Let me know down below how you guys feel about blackout stickers or even just stickers. I think it's just stickers in general, not even blackout, but ones that have a different color offset other than the white because it kind of just drives me crazy to see. Like, I don't necessarily want to see the offset. So I think these ones just always throw me off because of that. I don't know. Maybe that's why I just really don't like to see. Like, I don't want to know that there's an offset. I don't want to know that there's more of the sticker than I needed. You know? I don't know. Maybe that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't. But <laughs> I, like, look at it and I'm like, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I could have gotten away with not doing those. But I kind of just figured might as well do it on a daily sheet. I'd much rather do it on a daily sheet, actually, than <laughs> doing it on another um, layout like on like a regular spread or something if I ever did these for a regular spread I'd probably use black paper just for my peace of mind eee. yeah like I don't know how I feel like it's not terrible there's nothing wrong with it I think it's just in my brain that looks weird it's not something I'm used to The offset is just throwing me off. And that's okay. <laughs> I'm like, let's just embrace it. Like, if we're going to do it, let's just do it. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. That's going to have to be something that I, like, have to get over. Or something. I really just need to do black. I do have black paper. Like Happy Planner released like a black paper pack. I do have that. So I really should just try to use that one day. And maybe just make like from scratch. Like a layout from scratch. Because they're just blank pieces of paper. Okay so that was Deep Botanicals. And my issues with seeing offsets apparently. Alright last two spreads are back on verticals. We're going in with Cozy Critters and Essential Home. I think I'm going to do Essential Home first mainly because I know this one's going to be harder to use by itself. It doesn't. I mean it has a lot of icons. There's quotes in here. This one I think I'm definitely going to keep this page like for like any daily chores. So I'll probably set this page aside for daily chores that I do inside because I mainly use my daily sheets you know for social media and stuff but it is nice to it's been nice to every now and then use these sheets for just like things that I'm trying to get done inside the house um so yeah so I think at least I now I can actually do this for that so just looking to see what blank pages I have before I start just like slapping down stickers <laughs> I'm trying to plan a little bit better than I normally would okay we have this nice big one which is good because again this doesn't have a ton of decoration stickers so that'll be good um, just to kind of help in that department and I'm adding that because I want color otherwise this is very much going to end up just being a black and white spread which I don't want. I want to have lots of fun color. Um, let's do this one. In here. Okie dokie. And then we'll use this one because I want the color. I was going to use the black and white one, but or the black, white, and gold, but I wanted more color. Okay, I'm, I don't know if there's any functional stickers in here. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> there's like bill trackers, but I don't think there's any just like blank boxes. There's not. Other than these full size ones. So I'm going to pull out one of mine. Because there's literally none. Like I need some. I got stuff to do. Um, I'm just going to go with the colors that I'm seeing in here. So I see like some yellow, some orange. Let me do this lighter orange. I'm just going to go with the colors that are already in this book. 
kind of decided for these I like to use the pages that are split first and then I'll use the pages that only have one color <laughs> it's been my my main way to use these lately okay, so picking those colors and then I think yellow which I don't know why yellow is just always the color I automatically want to use but we can do a yellow at least one and then maybe a blue okay well on these pages I wasn't using the split <laughs> the split one I did on some of the other ones but just not that one okay and then I don't think there was a I don't think there were any squares but I'm going to go with a pink square, like the light pink. And I'm going to stick one in here. And then what I'm going to do is put a little quote in there because there are some kind of like smaller quotes um, in here. Even if they're just like home related, <laughs> like this clean all the things. Encouraging quote. And really the only thing to decorate in here is the icons. So I might just use the icons as my decoration and just have it all over the page of things I should be doing. So let's use some from the gold and then we'll use some from the color. So I'm just gonna start pulling out like one of each little, one of each little thing, which whoops. <laughs> Maybe not try to ruin them right when I pull them out. And I'm just going to start sticking them all over. And then we can go in with the, um, the colored versions. Instead of like the gold. So at the back, oh, and there's even more gold ones. So that's good. But we do have the color versions, which could be fun. Have to break up some of that gold foil a little bit. I don't know why I keep pulling up the backs of things, but it's been like what I've been doing all day. <laughs> Getting these in here. Um, I don't know. I think for my brain, <laughs> this is another one of those like hard things to do. I don't know why. It's hard for me to like space out some of these things. Okay, now we have some different things. We have like little washers for the laundry. We have grocery shopping things. We have a trash can. Take out the trash. <laughs> um, like water the plants. And like an actual watering can. Okay, I think <laughs> I think that's good as far as like decoration. That's just going to have to be my decoration for this one. And we're just going to be okay with it. Ooh, I like that cleaning day sticker. Why? Because it's a daily sheet. I, I get into those like little fits too of like... All of a sudden, I'm inspired, and then I clean out my entire pantry and clean out the entire, you know, like, whatever. Like, clean out the entire fridge, throw things away, you know, that have been in there for way too long. So, I definitely get into those modes. So, this will be good, a good sheet to pull out on that day when I'm like, okay, my brain's ready to go. Or even just writing it afterwards. Because sometimes writing what you've already done afterwards is just as satisfying as writing up, making a list beforehand. So, okay, I think that's it for that one. 
knew that one was going to be a little tricky, but I think we made it work. And then I'll just use that one for my main daily activities. All right, flipping it over, our last one, we're going to go in with Cozy Critters. And this one should be fun. It's like an animal vibe spread, which again, this is going to be, this whole back and front will be for anything in the house kind of thing. Um, so you kind of just have fun with this one. There are some fun like little washi strip. I forgot about this book. I keep pulling out all the other um, like pet books, but I haven't pulled out this one in a long time. So good to know. I'm going to use one of these because I love using these. It's like the one time I really use them. <laughs> it's for my daily sheets. And then I saw some double wide, which again would be good for here. So let's see. Give this all the things. It's cute, kind of gives me an extra spot to write some things down that need to get done. And then I'm going to go to these full boxes. Some of those in and then we'll find a quote for the middle middle quote just trying to get in like all the colors so I'm going to choose this one and I like that. <laughs> and then we do have all the pet stickers too, which are fun. I just need to figure out how I want to put them in here. We do have boxes that we can layer with. So I love that right off the bat. Get a little bit of layering. I don't I don't, okay, we do have squares. I was like, I don't remember seeing squares. We have them. We have some. The only thing is turning them is going to be... Eh. <laughs> kind of hard. But we'll make it work. It's because all of these ones are technically for, like, your monthly. But we'll make it work. I think I'm just going to use this, like, busy day little banner to kind of try to hide that little corner that's cut out and then we can just go in with our pets I'm gonna use the bigger ones I want to make sure I'm picking ones that I haven't used yet <laughs> but I think I'm just gonna put a couple of different ones down at the bottom so we have these cute little puppies we have a turtle why not of course, we have to add the kitty. Uh, we don't have foil on here. Good to know, because I almost pulled a sticker that had foil on it. So I'm glad I looked. So far, I don't have any with foil. So let's keep it that way. Put a little birdie in there. And that's where it's going to get punched, so I don't think I'm going to stick anything over there. Can we just leave a wiener dog, though? I always cover these up, but I also feel like I don't need to. I'm like, did it really help that much? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember if there was a to-do sticker, but I'm going to look. I'm also going to put a little quote. It says, power through the day. And I'm going to see, I don't remember if there was like a little sticker that said to-do. Oh, there's get it done. We could use that one. I think there was like a little circle to-do sticker, but now I don't remember. Okay, well there's a to-do in this, so that works today okay well let's use this to do this one works and I feel like this one will look fine layering that on top 
<laughs> All right, there we go. Cozy Critters. This one's probably one of my favorites. This is so cute. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and get these punched and then we'll take a look at all the sheets we did today. Alrighty, so we have page one. Page two, I still think this one's my favorite. It's like simple, but I don't know. It's like the black with the splash of colors. So I don't know. I think that one's still my favorite. Um, page three, page four. And then page five, which this one I think is definitely in my favorites too. Maybe it's just because it's like laid out in a way that I really like. I don't know. But there we go, you guys. There are all my pages ready for another week. I so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.